Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV and today we're going to be doing NCCRS Iowa. As you can see starting on pole we have uh, two teammates actually. PS Motorsports Racing's Sam Oskin and Sandy Metzi. See they're both teammates. Highest running non-rookie starting is Matthew Hill in third. Learn that you can't really see. Um, got a few interesting storylines. Um, Reggie, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? All right. Did you want to go ahead and uh, tell them about the storyline with the points lead situation? Well, she starts 18th, and yeah, Shred's starting uh, 32nd, and their points lead, it, there's 14 points to that points lead that Shred has, and Frank Chilton looking to gap it back and take it back uh, after a few subpar races. Uh, he's looking to get another top 10 run going. You got any other thoughts, Reggie? Uh, no, I don't. All right, so... Um, Again, starting on pole is the 57. Now, there is a camera issue on the front stretch. Uh, I've come to the conclusion spectator is probably the best option to switch when we're in the front straight because it'll like cut off right against the finish line. It's fairly infuriating, but it's Iowa. Do what we can with it. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have a lot to say. About a minute or so till the start. Uh, last week's winner was Ian Stiles. Pretty much kicked everyone's butt at New Hampshire. Some Dan finished second. Did a really good points day for him. And also, we're talking about points leads and stuff. Zig Zagoon, uh, he's starting to fall back. Uh, he's actually one to watch today. Um, despite not starting so well, 27th. Uh, he's been fairly under the radar lately. Uh, it's been in a slump. I think uh, Iowa was his race. Um he, did, he has a little more experience than a lot of these rookies here at this track, so keep an eye on him. And also keep an eye on Anthony McClurk. Performed, he's actually starting right next to Zigzagoon. Performed very well, very quick at this track. Manufacturer change, new season. He even has a teammate driver who's starting fairly far back, along with Vince Fries, who's had a very insufferable past few races. In fact, in fact last week's winner starts in the back, too. That is true. Ian Stiles not starting so great, but that's characteristic of him. He doesn't really do well usually but uh it, it, good he got a win last week better go to the command here in just a few seconds and we'll let that roll through drivers start your engines all right and for the sake of the camera issue i'm gonna go to helicopter on this initial start and probably on most restarts as well We'll also be able to analyze the restart violations. However, we have not seen one on initial start, and I don't actually have a penalty system for that. So if there is one, I guess there's no issue, especially since these guys are teammates, so we'll see. Reggie, you want to call green? Yeah. Green, 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 we're boogity boogity in Iowa, boys. Lap one is in the books. Sam Oskin in the 57 has taken a fairly decisive lead, surprisingly. Matthew Hill's taken second. Got some three wide action in the back from the 101 of Moon Man. Byron Webb, Frank Chilton caught up in the four wide action. Uh, this, this could be detrimental for him. The, oh, and Santa Messian in the wall. Uh, again, we have that TV1 issue. We were discussing that. He is into the wall. Causing several cars to lag back. Oh, wreck in the back. The 21 of Pox. They save it? No, they don't. Caution's out. Far in the wall goes Zigzagoon. Ian Stiles and Kyler Sustre. The 97. Caution's out. Go ahead and take a look and see what happened. I've seen Pox Kozar get around off of four. This is on lap three. The Zigzagoon did not need this. Some of the Dan. All right, let's go. We're going way below that yellow line. 
and try to go right back up to the middle of the traffic. Let's take a look. So it looks like Jeremy Frey got in the back of the 21 of Pox Cozart. Some Dan and Zigzagoon into that. I don't think there was much that could have been done there, honestly. See, Zig's trying to come with the track and also hooking the bumper of the 06. Nowhere for the 45 to go. 04 and I saved. 97 involved. 93. <sighs> 93, I think, saved it. Nice one. So only three cars involved. Uh, the 63 came out fairly all right. So I'm going to go ahead and go to TV1. Or I'm going to go to go to pit lane real quick and test out a couple hey, things. That was really good. I did not. All right, yeah, that looks good enough. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go back to live. And uh, pull up our standards real quick to see if anyone's out of the race. It doesn't look like so. Oh, Frank Shilton did not need that. So, oh, what happened? Assuming something happened when they were racing to the yellow. So for that reason, we're going to... So what happened here? Is he not scored in the lead or something? That is weird. Alright, so this was... I am confused. So why is he shown the leader but the standings not shown? Oh, that's because fast slap. What am I... I'm a dingus times seven. Alright, so I was so far off there. I thought those guys were in last. Alright, never mind. Don't trust the standings, boys. Alright, so... Seeing uh, we have something new in this place. So, anyways, um, we're going to back to live again. Kind of regroup. We're going to use this full yellow flag condition. Lap 6 to 25. Sam Oskin continues in the lead with his 10-point bonus in the books. Also leading some laps here. Got a 90 Matthew Hill in second. Nimrod third. Doing running very well today for Dawn Patrol. Uh, Melinda Jones, I think, looking for a, a streak of top 10s, possibly. I'll have to double-check that. Potato Boy. In the 99, fifth behind him is Noah Clifton. Hasn't really made any noise this season. Behind that is Alex Tanker. An interesting spot in points in seventh. Eighth, Byron Webb definitely needs a good run right here. Very good run. Santa Messi in ninth. Uh, looking good in the standing. Started second. Fell back quite a bit. And then tenth place is Moonman. I want to see where Frank Chilton's at. He lost quite a few spots on that start. Uh, 19th, so again, raise that question to points. Where was the 73 at? 35th, so if this race were to end right here, right now, uh, Frank Chilton would take the points lead. We're going to go over this restart and make sure there is no restart violation from the 90. We'll have to watch closely. We'll pause at the line if needed. Reggie, you want to call green again? Yep, yep. Back green, boys. Uh, yeah, that's I think you're right. Yeah, that's that's a violation from the 90. It's too close. I don't want to risk it. Uh, I am not going to give it to him right now, though, because uh, he is. This is like really close pack racing. So I'm going to give him. I'm going to wait till he goes. Uh, and I'm gonna wait till it files out, or until we go under yellow. If we go under yellow, I'll just give him an end of longest line penalty. If necessary, is Nimrod in the 27. Looking for her first career win. Or 29, rather. 59 going to slide up. Still green flag racing. Man, I hate that camera so much. The 90 wants it, but he is going to get uh, a manual. or No, he's going to get black flagged. Or restart violation. He may be serving that. Uh, he will be serving that uh, this time. Likely. If not, then... Uh, I may have messed up on the uh, thing there. 
But none of these laps here will be scored for him as he will now surrender to pit road. And since he does, he will... Uh, I'll be nice to let him score those points, but unfortunate nonetheless. As Nimrod will take the lead back with the 90, having to reserve that restart violation penalty. And uh, Matthew Hill is also looking for his first career win in the Cars on Cups or the uh, NCCRS. Unfortunately, won't happen. Alex Tanker in second. Third place, Sam Oskin as the field starting to spread out. Patrick Miller has rebounded back to where he started. Riley Gorse up here. He's been actually getting really consistent. I keep an eye on him for right now. Um, Santa Messi has recovered to sixth. And uh, Azrael Dreamer, Drummer in the 75 has recovered as well. As we watch the 90 coming up here road, showing that penalty. Will come out fairly clean. A little bit of congestion with Jet. Uh, they will be eligible for a uh, lucky dog if they are the last car in the lead lap. See LJ Toledo getting the wall a little bit there. I don't believe we have any cars in the threat of going a lap down at the moment. Which is good. Again, I believe. I cannot say for certain, but Nimrod leading laps here, which is good. For them, they definitely need this. Uh, this could be the day they get their first win. Go ahead and check the standings real quick. Uh, yeah, everyone's on pace, looking good. Uh, and they'll complain there. Only Carl uh, having an issue is the 90, who had a restart violation. Aren't that clean since? Only had one yellow, and that was for that uh, incident with the 32106, who've all oh, very been in the headlines when it comes to standing. So that's interesting. We see Riley Gorsey are trying to make a move on the 18. Oh, that's the 17. Uh, that's 27th. Uh, Zigzagoon rebounding fairly well, I uh, might add there. Gonna go to the roof cam real quick. Riley Gorse cleanly gets around the 18 of Patrick Miller for fourth, and the Santa Messi also going for fifth from uh, Patrick Miller. Check up with Nimrod, who's in the lead. Looks like Alex Tanker has caught up a little bit. Alex Tanker looking for his second win of the season. He already won at Auto Club in the 85 car. Hasn't shown much since. I'll say that much. He might be able to get a strat going here, try to take this lead from Nimrod with just a few laps to go, I might add. In fact, it may come right here for the lead. 30 car on the bottom. Not sure what their issue is. They may have a mechanical problem. There's a 29 still trying to live the lead another lap, which is still not a bad day. But Alex Tinker looking to be the second driver to win two races this season. Nimrod playing it very cool on the top. Oh, he's going to play a nice arc there. But unfortunately, 85 with a nice run off the corner. Let's check in that 30 car Cooper. Meanwhile, but the 85 has taken the lead from the 29 of Nimrod. Looking for their second one of the season, Alex Tanker. The 57 of Sam Oskin, your pulse sitter, trying to come back for third. A few cars in the back trying to switch swap position. You see Craig Pockris there looking for his uh, first, uh, first of few top tens. Doesn't have a lot. I do have overtime on, so if we get a yellow here, it is uh, we will go and have another restart. Three laps to, or four laps to go. Reggie, you got any last uh, got any thoughts on this uh, potential finish? No, I don't. Been clean so far. Only had that one restart violation from the 90. Unfortunately, going to hurt his race quite a bit. Two laps to go here at. Iowa going to go helicopter cam for these final couple. Uh, looks like Nimrod's got to run. Does it have enough time though? I don't think. 57 may have, may have messed up in turn one there. Does 57 have anything? Coming to the white flag here at Iowa. Alex Tanker 
He's got one lap around. Nimrod not able to get it. And Riley Gore slips up in fourth. Santa Messi going to try to take that. But Alex Tanker in the 85. Just a half lap left. Has not been consistent at all. He's right there at the cut line. Could definitely use this win here at Iowa. And Alex Tanker wins. Second win of the season. Unfortunately, Nimrod will have to wait a s a little bit longer for that first career win in that 29 car for Don Patrol, who's been running fairly well in both series, I might add. Just pause the game there. But uh, I do want to go back and see what happened to that 30 car. So uh, the winner is Alex Tanker. No questions there. What happened to the 30? He did not finish. So the uh, 90 will not finish last. So I imagine they probably had a mechanical failure. This team's been ridden with mechanical failures in both uh, Cup Series and NCCRS lately. Man, it looks like they uh, may have gotten into the wall or something. I'm not sure. They circled the track on the apron for quite... Oh! So it looks like they were causing an accident that did not bring out a yellow, which makes sense if no one spun out. So let's go ahead and take a look. So it looks like he got into Ian Stiles, who'd already been involved in a wreck. Is Kyle Sestray, who's also already been involved in a wreck. 30 goes straight into the wall. Boom. Mechanical failure. However, not... Um, I mean, I would say that is of their doing. 97 slips into the 25. 51 able to barely avoid that. But those cars ridden with damage, not having a great race at all. I do want to point out, 51 was quick as practice. So, uh, nonetheless, unfortunate for those guys. But, oh well. Um, Reggie, you got any last thoughts? Sure. All right. Well, um, tried out something new. Uh, I think we did all right. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Uh, Alex Tanker on getting his second win of the season. Uh, I'm sure he definitely needed that for his standings. But uh, other than that, we will see the Cup, the Cup Series is going to the same track next race. This race is fairly entertaining, only riddled with one caution and one fail, uh, one restart violation, which we don't see a lot of. But uh, he, it was too close to call, and I figured, yeah, he, it was too close. It would have been wrong if I did not pull the penalty on that. So they unfortunately finished the lap down. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But anyways, for me... Reggie Fogelman, this is the NCCRS. Uh, this is Iowa. We'll see you next race. Peace.